Um, this is my engineering project that I've been working on here. It's, uh, it's a three-in-one wood-burning stove. What works is that you feed wood in here and it burns in uh, this burn tunnel here. And then, I don't know if you can really tell, but um, there's a 55-gallon drum behind here. And there's a short brick chimney within that drum that goes almost to the top of it, but not quite all the way. So the hot air rises up that chimney, and then it gets dispersed around the sides of the barrel. And it all gets um, funneled down the sides into a stovepipe exhaust that runs through here. As you can see, it exits the room there. So what we're trying to do is use the heat from the fire before we just send it outside. Um, so one of the three things that we're going to be doing is building a beehive-shaped oven directly on top of the drum. And then uh, heat will radiate through that into the oven and should be able to get warm enough to cook breads and pizza. So that um, heat will be dispersed outward from the exhaust pipe into a bench that we've started building here. As you can see, we're just going to pile a bunch of mud and rocks in there and then create a nice finished surface. So um, the heat will get dispersed through that, so you'll have a nice heated bench in the winter time. And I think Annie's excited about taking naps on and uh, <laughs> snuggling with the cats. Um, that will also serve to store the heat and slowly emit it into the room. So you could have a fire going for an hour or two, perhaps, and then for several hours after that, you'll have heat coming off of all the storage area and into the room. The last thing we're going to do is with this red tube in that you might not be able to see, but it's over here as well. And when Jay installed this floor, he ran that underneath the entire floor in the whole room. So it's going to be a closed loop system that will circulate water through um, using a pump in the opposite corner of the room. And then the heat coming off of the pipe will heat the water in the tubing. It will be run underneath the floor so that heat will get absorbed into the floor and radiate into the room. And if everything works properly, it should heat pretty much the whole room. Your combustion fuel will be what? It's wood burning. Just wood burning. Most yeah. conventional systems, you're pumping in air into a room, trying to get every square inch of the room to be 70 degrees or whatever the thermostat's set to. Um, but really, people can be comfortable in a room at lower temperatures if they're actually warm. So if you have a warm floor, you're directly transmitting heat from the floor into people that are in the room. And particularly if you have heat around your feet, um, you can be comfortable at much lower temperatures. So if the temperature is only 60 degrees in the room, the air temperature, but the floor is 80 degrees, most people will probably feel comfortable. And uh, this here, I, this is what I, I just finished this morning actually with this brick wall, but um, I built these shelves into it so you can take um, like a loaf of bread or a pizza out of the oven and stick it in there to keep it warm. You three holes, you stoke it through both or one yeah, event well, or? This was something that I kind of modified from the designs that Yanto Evans um, uses. I thought if I angled the feed tube, that might help direct the wood in better and also prevent smoke from coming out. Um, then this other hole is just kind of a secondary measure to make sure that smoke doesn't come like back up into the room. Um, because if that were happening, you could put this pot over the top of this one and then leave that one open, and that would be the air intake. So it's a draft. So like then, a yeah, and you'd be able to maintain your draft. When I tested the system, it was drafting really well, and almost, you could tell the fire and all the smoke and everything was just shooting right down where I wanted it to. And the surface of the oven was around 700 degrees at, at its highest, um, and I'd only had a fire going for like an hour, hour and a half. The idea, much like the, all of the projects they work on here is to use as many reclaimed and recycled materials as possible. These bricks were all reclaimed from the school. Um, this was from an old broken lamp, this ring. Uh, the barrel, we just went to a salvage yard and bought that. Um, stove pipe, we got some of it on Craigslist. Some of it they had in the barn just from ages ago. And some of it came from a Habitat for Humanity restore. And then we just had, a, I just pretty much we used whatever we had. So uh, the slate, um, I was using that to make uh, like insulation sandwiches because back in here there's slate with fiberglass in between and then another piece of slate um, just to make sure that the straw and the wall would never 
catch on fire and also to keep all the heat in the room rather than having to go outside. Okay, well let's move this way. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.